You got the seven eighths copper, which pretty good size for HVAC. And uh, you can see here that I'm just trying to get this uh, worked up here, just stubbed out of this wall. And so I have to be really careful. So instead of trying to put a coupler on there and then I'd have two joints, I, uh, I picked up this nifty little expanding tool, tubing expanding tool. And I've had a couple different types, but this one, um, it just works really, really well. And so you can kind of see it's used, been using it some. But what you end up doing is, um, all these are different sizes. And uh, the last one actually fits into a 7 8 and expands it. And so I've already done that here. And so it's, it's fully expanded. And uh, this pipe actually fits right into it like that. And so there it goes. And so that'll be nice. One uh, braze joint. So here I have uh, both these right here are not, neither of these are expanded at this point. Um, I did just uh, go ahead and deburr this. And so I'm going to deburr this guy. And I would recommend that. Get this little deburr tool, get that lip out of there after cut. Pretty close. You can feel it with your finger, that lip. This will help, help in that process of expanding so you're not compressing that burr. We are going to expand this end to fit onto that, that pipe right there. Okay. Yep, feeling pretty good. The other thing I do is I have this uh, <clears throat> this cloth. Some people call it crocus cloth, but it's just a sandpaper cloth. And <laughs> gotta have clean tubing for brazing. Otherwise, it's just a nightmare. It doesn't fit well. You can, you can butt through and make it happen, but sure it's better to have it nice and clean. Hit it with steel wool real quick. Steel wool there. We'll just get this tube kind of ready before we expand it. So that finishes that really, really nice. Okay. So on this expander, I so said it's got different sizes. And uh, this one here. That's going to be the one that pretty much is right what that tube will be fully when I fully uh, push this thing down all the way. That's pretty much the size of that tube. Now, because this thing isn't round, you can tell there's a big split here. I'll do it this way. It's a big split there. When you expand it, um, this doesn't isn't necessarily round. So what you have to do is you have to kind of keep working that thing like that all the way around it. And if you'll do that and take it slow, you won't have problems. I've read on guys that, that don't like them because it doesn't make it round or it doesn't work well in uh, expand or it splits. Um, I've had them split before. Usually it's because I've, I've tried to take too big of a bite. So you can see here as I do that, that just makes that nice and round. And then you flip this thing over to the next size, which will be this one. Now we're going to start expanding that. And I'm just going to work it. Like that, it's just little by little. I'm not gonna take big bites. I'm just gonna keep moving my tube around. And if, whether it's in your hand or whether it's mounted, it's the same thing. Moving the tool, moving the tube, you just keep rotating that around. You can see how it's starting to expand that. And you wanna get this thing to where it's all the way. You can see underneath that it's got a, uh, See if I can do it this way. Yeah, where it, it has a stop and plus you hit your handles. And that's how far you're wanting to go with this thing. And so right now we have expanded it, but it's not enough yet. It won't be enough. It needs to go that next step up. But I've worked it around just incrementally like that so that it'll be round. You see that? Pretty round. Not enough yet to go on that, but we're getting there. So we've hit that step. Now we're going to go to the last step. This is the, the 7 8 expander. Now, it's kind of wide. I typically will go about half. Just get a couple little bites on it. Like that. Just start to get a couple little bites. Because this is a pretty good size step to expand. And we don't want to we don't want to crack our tube. Necessarily. Because that would just be more solder. I could still silver solder a crack tube. But I prefer not. A whole lot easier. If it's together, okay. Starting to feel pretty good there. Working our way around, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert it all the way now, and then just keep keep working that around as well. Keep 
pork in it. And then that last little bit, you do have to put a little some torque into it. This is a great exercise for the hand. If you need one of those uh, little exercise guys that work your grip strength, this is it, man. This is it. Okay. You see right here where I'll show you that. We are not quite there yet. Man, we are close. It's looking good, but we're going to keep working it. You got to get that thing to where it is all the way or it won't, it just won't be quite enough. Man, we're real close now. Let's see. And we're real, real close. Actually, my handles, yeah. Let's see if I can show that here. Yeah, see how those touch as I come around? That's what I want. So I'm working it, working it, and I'm not going to overdo it because it only it has to stop, so you can only go so far. Yeah, let's see here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fits right on. Perfect, love it. Let me get that cleaned up. Fit this on here. I'll show you how nice this is. Um, I've already done some working on this, but there's a little spot right here I wanted to grab. Okay, let's finish that up with a little, like a 600 um, steel wool. It's either four or six. I know my sandpaper, I think, is, well, let's just see. Looks like it's 240. 240, looks good. Finish this tube here. So, pretty good on there. Okay, now let's take this, put that in there. Nice. And then this guy, let's see here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that just came in real nice. You guys see that? Woohoo! Man, look at that. Awesome. So that's what that does. Let me get a good look on this. That's what that does. It just expands that out, makes that one joint, one solder joint, one solder joint. I'm going to do the same with the 3 8s. It's a whole lot easier working the 3 8s, of course, because it's smaller, bends easy. But uh, anyway, I think you can see how useful this little tool is. Um, I like it, and I would recommend picking one of these. Oh, let me show you another feature on this. So a lot of these, they always stay this side. They're kind of awkward for your bag. Here, if I do this right. Oh, yeah. It just, the handles rotate. Handle rotates. And then uh, it just sits right there in your bag. I'll show you. I can just, uh, just put that right down in my bag, and, and I have it with me. Just a little bag, my little go-to bag right here, and I can have that. So it folds right up. Is that amazing? So when it's time to use it, right there's detent, right there's detent. You're back in action. Love this tool. Um, I will uh, here in a minute. I had a tool that broke, and I'll show you what to watch out for for these. This actually is a, is a good steel. A lot of the cheaper tools, um, this is more of a pot cast, and I snapped one. And it might have been, I might, I might have been um, hard on it, but I don't think so. I was I was uh, just doing like I was doing there, but it just couldn't handle it. This guy right here, he's worked out really, really well. So hope you enjoy this.